Okay, so this is going to be one of the quickest little things here. It's just a quick little pep talk-ish. Reminding you, we are now in week 15. Um, this is the week that, I think it's week 15 anyway, this is the week that your projects are due. We are almost done. You have almost survived the entire term. Yay. So very close to being done. You just need to wrap it up. Go ahead and get your projects finished if you haven't already. If you are one of those people who just hasn't done anything, well, yeah, make sure to read your group discussion boards. If you are in a group that has not been hearing from most of your members, make sure to be posting on that group discussion board. You have to have your presentation posted no later than Wednesday at 10 p.m. Wednesday at 10 p.m., all of them will close. They will all lock down tight. And then if the presentation hadn't been posted, that one stays closed. If it has been posted, then I reopen them. This is how I go ahead and make sure everything's done properly. So if you are one of those people who waits till the last minute to get it done, you are already at the last minute. I do not recommend waiting until Wednesday night to post your presentation because I'm not kidding about 10 p.m. It will not come through. So if it's like 9.50 and you're like, oh crap, I forgot we need to post this. You have trouble logging in and then you're hitting the thing and it takes a while to attach. And then all of a sudden it's locked. And then you email me, I'm gonna tell you, you shouldn't have waited that long, not my problem. Not to be mean, but you have had the entire semester to work on this. So this is crunch time, wrap it up. If you have not already put all of your parts together in a single presentation, now is the time. I would recommend spending Sunday, the day that this video opens, making sure to have all of it in one cohesive PowerPoint. Please note, I keep saying PowerPoint. It is not Prezi, it is not Google Slides, it is nothing else. It is literally a PowerPoint. That is the name. Just like what I tend to post, you have to attach it. Not a link, you have to attach the official PowerPoint. So if you have, if you have only been working on it online, make sure to download it to your computer, save it in your computer, and then attach it to your post. Um, if you wish to be creative and record throughout your PowerPoint, that would be great. That makes it a little more interesting. Is it required? No. But what is required is for it to be an actual PowerPoint. Um, only one person can post the PowerPoint. There is only one submission per group. That is it. If more than one person posts it, then there will be a loss in deduction, or there'll be a loss in points, and I will straight up delete the second post because only the first one counts. So make sure you have communicated. If you are in a group that you have people who have not been communicating, make sure to post in the group discussion board. Say, okay, I am wrapping up this PowerPoint tonight. Tomorrow, I am submitting it. If you are a group member and you have not been doing your part, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, and Tuesday you hop on and you see that your group is already posted, you're out of luck because they have been right there on the discussion board. That was every student's job was to keep up with that discussion board. So every single person who said, oh man, I keep forgetting. I just can't remember to go on the discussion board. Not your group's problem. That was every student's responsibility. So do not email me any presentations. There is a place for it. That's where you put it. On, I believe Wednesday, I believe is when the assignment opens for you to tell me all about your group. That's when you post that. Do not email me anything. Do not send me your part of the presentation. Um, 
I've said it countless times before, so hopefully you remember. But this week, it is pretty much just getting those presentations posted, looking at everybody else's presentations, being interactive, and turning in your response. So um, you're almost done. There you go. If you have questions, feel free to message me. Best way will be to actually email me or send me a text. If you are sending me messages only through Brightspace, it might take a little longer for me to respond. So if you need a response sooner, make sure to actually email me or send me a text. Both of those are on your syllabus. And yeah, I guess that is it. So peace.